Good morning, guys. Happy, happy hump day. It's hump day. Hey, ho, hey, ho. It's hump day. How you guys doing this morning? It is beautiful Wednesday, um, September 14th morning. How are you guys doing? Um, I hope you had a wonderful night's sleep. I hope you said your prayers this morning, not just for yourself, friends, families, and loved ones, but for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. I definitely did, y'all. Um, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Every time I see something, it distracts me. Um, I have my coffee this morning, you guys, yet again. My black cup. It's super, super hot. Like, you can see the smoke, right? Woo! It's really, really hot, y'all. But it's it's good coffee, okay? It don't have the creamer in there. Um, no, my whipped cream, but it's all right. Um, but it's good. You can smell it. It's strong, too. It's Folgers. Um, anyway, guys, I didn't have any crazy dreams yesterday. Um, I've been up, as always, <laughs> throughout the night. Um, I actually got up at 4 a.m. But throughout the night, I've, I've watched... Um, like, I binged watch. There's a Netflix picture called, if I remember the name correctly, I always forget the names. Um, uh, the Love Between Fairy and the Devil, I forget. Um, but it's basically, you know, a fairy. Um, it's a, it's a, um, it's not a Chinese, I think it's Twiny. Taiwanese, whatever. Um, but I absolutely love it. Like, dang. Um, I just finished episode 16. I cannot wait till the next episode. Like, it's been a minute since I've been excited about um, the drama that I've watched that I'm watching. This one is really good. Like, I like the um, intro. I like the music. It's very calming. It's very. It puts your mind in a beautiful space for me, anyway. Um, I love it. And um, just to give you an idea of what it's about, um, so there's a fairy. Um, she's really giddy and happy or whatever, but she's kind of outcast. Like they kind of bully her and you know put her down and you know little things like that. Um, but there's the god of war um, who tries to keep peace and you know um, his his people in check. Uh, he's a good person and um, he loves her he's always you know loved her and i think when they were showing like a um a past a replay of the past it looks like he may have erased her memory so she does not know entirely who she is what she's yet capable of and anyway he has always loved her but has never made that directly known to her has never really expressed it to her um because his brother who's older than him who's the king will not allow it like you know how some of these um like korea uh, uh africa places like that where they have arranged marriages and things like that so you know they have aside who he should be marrying and that's it that's all so but he's in love with her. So he kind of watches over her, you know, and keeps an eye on her and da 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 But never really steps in like he should when you feel like or when you say you're protecting someone. He does not completely step in. Long story short, they were in this day, there was this battle. Him, his brother, and his, you know, disciples, whatever. They're in space and they're doing their little power thing or whatever. And so she has the desk. She was looking at the Alif, a destiny book or something. It tells you, it shows your destiny. And when she saw his destiny, she could see that he was not going to survive that battle. So what she did, she didn't know what to do. So what she did when she saw that um, he was going to get, you know, the fatal blow, she got in front. And so she ended up being um, thrown on this planet uh, that they were fighting against, or I guess trying to, it's like a prison, and they were trying to uh, keep the people on this prison there, or I have to rewatch it, or they were trying to put someone on in the prison, and at the same time, without allowing others to escape. I'm not quite sure I have to go back. But they had already had in prison their... Um, the God, uh, the devil, basically. There's no other way I can put it. Uh, he, uh, 
and 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 he's been there for three hundred thousand years or thirty thousand years, something like that. And it's so hilarious how the two of them combine, how they meet. When they first show you him, he has long white flowing hair all the way down, like his facial expression, his demeanor, everything is just, you know, fear. Um, but he's handsome. And long story short, they ended up swapping bodies. <laughs> it's crazy. So it's it's a really good watch. I freaking enjoy it. I suggest you guys watch it. You'll like it. I love it. Um, you have to read the captions, but so what? I enjoy it. No different than reading a good book. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, uh, I read the book of Esther, okay, in the Bible, and I'm gonna communicate with you guys about how. I understood it and I always say how I understood it because you can have 10 people read the same thing and everybody takes something different out of it and you can take multiple you know messages out of just one chapter which is what I did so in reading the book of Esther and I don't know the names I can't get these people's names right but I do remember Malachi um, and Esther <laughs> um, and the king's wife, Vanishi, or something like that. Anyway, so the first thing I took out of it was beautiful people. When well, you have on the outside, beautiful men, beautiful women, beautiful people on the outside, they tend to get away with more than what the average person would get away with. They tend to be granted or given certain privileges that the average person would not or is not given okay hence the king's wife she was beautiful beautiful to look at and you know they had some sort of get together some kind of party or whatever and you know you got all these important people around him da, 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 and he wants to show off his wife you know where's my trophy basically and he sent for her she didn't come okay she just did not come and it was like oh, okay not only did this have to not come when I called you know send for her but you did this with all these important people around so look at how you're making me look okay so that's what what I got out of that first part and so one of his flunkies or whatever was servants were saying you know listen there's plenty of the women out there <laughs> you know this one don't want to act right there's some beautiful equally or more beautiful women out there than she and so the king was like you know what you're right if she, she ain't want to do what she's supposed to do then I'll find somebody else so he sent and they had all the virgins and beautiful women um, come to him and so that, you know, he can lay with, choose, pick, whatever. Esther being one of them, um, who was pretty much raised by Malachi, which was, I think, a friend of her father's or something, I forget. Um, but, um, and Esther was beautiful. And he, you know, took a liking and favor Esther over them all. So now Esther takes, is pretty much has, has taken this queen's place. So one thing I got out of that was again um, you can be completely and utterly stunning and beautiful on the outside but have a nasty attitude just be completely nasty and ugly on the inside and eventually what's on the inside is going to show it's going to come out and most people in their right minds ain't dealing with that okay so you can be replaced okay that's message number one I got out of that, right? Well, two, because one was, you know, was just reality, which is going on in, in the world today. You know, if you're super beautiful, you get away with it. You can move here. You can do this and you can do that, right? So anyway, um, Esther became, you know, one of the favorites. Now, there was an issue with, you know, the Jews. You know, you have all these, you know, these this people want to kill these this group of people because you don't like them for whatever reason or you know this one might be uh the king might favor this one over you and you feel like that's your spot so now you got to dig and make that you know person situation tough um put you know make things happen to them so now that they're being looked at and eyed upon in a negative way to the point you know let's kill all of them you know this is what i'm getting out of it with malachi and his you know 
people, his group of people, uh, which I believe was were, were Jews. And so um, one of the kings, you know, right hand men or whatever who felt like he was the next in line you know to run and to do this and to do that he was going around doing things and treating people wrong and just having people killed just you know in the king's ear all of that right and so malachi um was you know basically poor they were all poor they didn't have they were struggling and now um you're trying to murder them you know this whole race or group of people and so Malachi was telling Esther like are you gonna let this happen these are your people you know uh, speak on your people's behalf and uh, Esther was seemed to be a little bit hesitant about it from the way I understood it she was a bit hesitant about it a, a bit standoffish and I think more so out of fear um, then it wasn't I didn't from what I read, I didn't understand it as if she was just turning her back. That's not how I understood it. I think she was more so than anything fearful in a way. But she went ahead and she did, you know, uh, request an audience with the king. And she did, you know, um, use her intelligence and her wisdom. And she turned everything around um, where... Um, all the negative and the ugly people were, you know, punished and, you know, removed from their positions and so on and so forth. And the ones that were looked down upon rose up. So, again, there are so many messages there, you know. Again, there are so many beautiful people on the outside as well as on the inside who are smart and amazing. And at some time and point, it shines. You may start off in the gutter, may start off struggling, but when it's time for you to shine, you will. You may have to go through some things to get there, but keep trusting Jesus. Keep keeping your eye on the Lord. Keep moving forward. Keep seeking Him. And best believe, if it's in His will, if it's according to His plan for you, it is so. It is done. It will be done. You know, you're not going to go through that struggle uh, for long. You're going to come out of it. And you're going to come out of it and bring others with you. You know, and that's what I got out of that. That was amazing. And for people who are so ugly on the outside, on the inside, and just conniving and sneak, sneaky and manipulative and just horrible to people um, and they treat people like crap and they murder people and they just feel like they are privileged and entitled to doing whatever they want to people and then they smile and pretend you know he he er eventually it's going to turn around eventually them same people you step on and you dog out on your way up you're going to see them on your way down or on their way up surpassing you so keep that in mind you know um so i just had to share that that's what i got out of when i read, read um the book of esther um and that was on monday i believe i read the book of esther um update on my car guys i got it back yesterday um he i went and got the correct hub um returned the brake pads and got the money for that and which helped pay for the extra money the correct hubs cost uh, returned the grease and stuff that they sold me that he said I didn't need um, so he did you know put the brakes on there he, the front brake pads he put the hub on there and so now um, it's running a little better he told me drive it drive it get on expressway drive it get those brakes time to you know the pressure to come back up or whatever he said drive it um, so that's what I'm gonna do um, I still feel like, and, and I'm going to talk to him about it, the more I get money, you know, I'll do step by step, especially since the winter is coming. Um, I do still feel a little uneasy, so I'm going to ask him about the hub on the left side, was that done as well, because um, it just sounds so loose to me like again like there's no shocks like when you're driving you hear boom, boom, boom. if you hit a bump or a crack in the street I, I don't like that feeling I don't like that it's uncomfortable for me and and um, it was not always like that I want it to rise smooth you know like it did before um, so I'm gonna um, communicate with him about that because he told me to keep him you know posted and updated you know as to how it's running and what you know he thinks because um, he said he wasn't sure, but um, I may have to end up replacing the cylinder, and that's what I don't want to do. That could be quite expensive. Um, so, yeah, just to update on that, um, the boys went to work this morning. Um, 
different job. Lavelle's driving trucks now. He's been working there for two weeks now. Um, so Jeremiah is the assistant or whatever. So we'll be working with Lavelle, which is amazing, awesome. I'm so happy for them for that. Um, so I'm here in the house. It's peaceful. It's quiet. I'm about to start work, you guys. Only thing is I'm hot. Like if I... I turn the air on and the fan it'll be hard to hear um on the phone so i'm trying to just keep my body temperature just trying to stay chill don't move around so much um to some people it may be chilly but for me it's, it's quite hot um so i don't know i may turn the fan on just a bit turn it on low and turn it towards me um and hope that will work so that i don't have to you know blast anything because i'm hot <laughs> i don't know if y'all can see i try to put a little pink in my hair y'all see that um, we gonna see how rock with it is here. It's here. Um, I'm gonna see how it goes. It's it's, it's washable. Washes out. Um, it's all right. I wanted to see how it will look. It don't look too bad. Just want to do something different. Um, today's donation day is Wednesday. Um, and I do have to stop at the store. Obviously, um, I have to get two pays. I didn't go and I, when I went to the store last week I forgot to get tissue um, so we have one roll <laughs> so I had to get two pays tissue um, and I think that was it honestly I think that was it I, I really do I think that was it we got the garbage bags and everything I got the dishwashing liquid um, yep that was it that was it so guys it is, I've been talking to you for 16 minutes and 47 seconds and counting. I'm going to go ahead and get my butt signed in. It's already um, a little bit after 8. Um, I didn't start talking to you guys about until about 7.40 um, because I got up this morning. I just started cleaning and I finished the last two episodes of the that drama that I was watching because um, I fell asleep on the last two episodes so I had to go back. Um... And of course, when I get out the bathroom, I have to, you know, I clean the tub and I'm constantly cleaning and doing so that, you know, I can't help it. It kind of makes me a little bit, puts me a little bit behind. Anyway, guys, I talked enough. I talked enough. I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy your Wednesday morning. Two more days. Two more days. Until Friday. Enjoy your Wednesday morning. Remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated today, guys, and expect great things. I am expecting great things today. I am expecting great things. I don't know how it's coming, but it's coming. I am expecting great things. To everybody out there who is going through some things, you got family members in the hospital, um, a co-worker brother was in an accident, another co-worker's brother's in the hospital, dad's in the hospital. There's so many people going through so many things and still trying to work and live and balance and juggle. Um, people have surgeries scheduled uh, all kind of things going on this week and last week. Just my prayers go out to you all. I wish you all nothing but the best. Um, uh, speedy recovery, uh, successful surgery, successful procedures. Um, my prayers go out to everyone, not just my family, friends, and loved ones. Everyone, all my brothers and sisters in Christ, every child that's hungry and that's don't know which way to turn, every child or parent that's homeless, jobless, seeking, searching, desiring, my heart goes out, my prayers go out. I ask that God protect you direct you keep you bless you continue to to cover you with his blood continue to bless you with his grace um and help you just get through this time you know trouble don't last always it really don't I just get so irritated hearing that but guys trouble really don't last always it do not you keep your eyes on Jesus stay focused continue to pray continue to trust him keep your mouth off people you know what I'm saying tongues start wars if you need to do something with your tongue sing you need to do something with your tongue praise God you need to do something for your with your tongue Say hello, good morning, how are you? I love you to somebody. You know, how you doing? Do you need something? You know what? I helped you yesterday. I helped you the day before yesterday. Matter of fact, I helped you all week. But are you okay? 
Do you need me to just listen? You know, sometimes we just have to do that for people. It doesn't matter how many times. Just be kind. Damn. It's not difficult. Um, what? Well, I take that back. It can be difficult, but it's okay. It's okay. We are mighty men and women of God. Uh, we are our small gods. You know, we are in His image. We can do it. And it's easier said than done, I know. I'm sitting here telling you it. But trust and believe. I have to tell myself a lot of times. And sometimes I need somebody else to tell me. But that's okay. That's what that's what we are for. That's what the men and women of God, of Christ, the body, the whole is for. Sometimes you may have to pick somebody else up. You may have to pat them on the back. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right to pat him on the back. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Anyway, guys, that's enough. <laughs> Enjoy your morning. I said that so many times. I constantly repeat myself, but I didn't say um. I did not say um a million times. Getting better. I'm not moving around a lot, but even if I do, so what? That's me, guys. Talk to you later in the day. Enjoy. Bye now.